Newly released here at 2015 at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, we've got the multi-flow individual row monitor system from Surefire Ag Systems. What this is going to do is electronically monitor the flow through each row of your application and calling out visually on a graphical display and with an audible alarm if there's a blockage to a row, a, a plugage, a stoppage, or variations from one row to another. This is going to continually monitor our speed and our application rate, our application rate being controlled from our overall pump delivery system for precision control, tied in with all major platforms that are out there. This is a system that's simply monitoring our individual row units and will tie in and work in conjunction with your other control platform cover controlling the, the overall rate. But this system is going to incorporate into these four row modules electromagnetic flow meters. So an electromagnetic flow meter that ranges from 10 to 200 ounces a minute, so very low flow, so we can, we're going to easily hit those in furrow starter rates that we're working with. But that electromagnetic flow meter has no moving parts. This isn't turbine technology and it's not affected by different densities of products. If we're applying a 28%, a 32%, a, a 1034O, uh, no calibration needs to be changed. The, the, the measurement is still precise moving through here. As we're looking, I have the system running. We're seeing these lights flashing. That's just designating that we have flow going through each one of these runs. Again, we, we're not going to be looking at the modules the way we've historically looked at visual flow monitors. This monitor is doing the looking for us. It's monitoring each and every row and will alert us to those changes or blockages. Those changes are user setup as to what percentage above or below those rates you want that alarm to be called out on. And on our graphical display, we're showing all eight rows now and the levels, of course, center being right on the money. We've got our speed, our rate per acre, and then our graphical display of what's happening with each row. As there's a change in flow, and what I'm doing here is going to a smaller metering tube, a, lower, a smaller diameter, allowing less product to go through, and we can see immediately our alarm has shown up that row five is below the limit we set. And we can see on the graphical display that the other rows now are slightly above because the excess flow is now being diverted to the other rows. There are two views on this screen that the user can use. The graphical representation, which gives you a nice quick all-in-one, draws your eye to it. By simply hitting the shift button, we shift over, and now we're seeing the gallon per acre measurement for each and every row. You can see number five is still flashing because we've got it tied into a smaller outlet, and we're only doing 2.7 gallons an acre on this row through this tube. And then the other rows have slightly gone up to 5.1, 5.2 gallons per acre as that excess flow was taken in. As we go back to our standard size metering tube, which is the same as the rest, we're getting that even distribution. Our alarm has gone away. Our graphical representation, we're now all more in the center. And on the actual rate per acre per row, we're all in there at that five gallons per acre. So a, a, a tool that regardless of lighting conditions, day, night, sunny, cloudy, dusty conditions, or perfect conditions, but we don't now have to look back to see if there's an issue. That is constantly being looked at by this monitor system and alerting us to those differences. So now as soon as we have a, a lower output or a plug run, we're gonna know it so we don't drive finish that round or two rounds before it's noticed and then after emergence we start to see those differences where we had that error. This system can go up to 48 rows which would be 12 of these four row modules. The, the, the layout is a single cable coming out of that cab across that hitch and then these are going to connect together into a, a, a command module mounted back on the planter. So a very clean, simple, but most importantly that precise monitoring that we're looking for where there's no time delays, there's no other issues, and it's an exact measurement.